Uh, my name is Kingsley Abu. I am a finance consultant with Western Computer. So let's go down to the ledger structure because I think that's one of the places where there's a little bit of a difference in the way AX approaches your chart of accounts, what you would call your account segments or your account structure or your financial dimensions. So I'm going to go over to the setup area and show that to you here. And this will make a little bit more sense as we start to drill down to the individual components. So in AX, each company has a ledger. That ledger is composed of three key items. It's composed of a chart of accounts. And when I say chart of accounts, think main accounts. It's also composed of a fiscal calendar and it is composed of a set of account structures. And I'll take each one of them one by one. The chart of accounts here, if I click on this, as you can see, is just a list of main accounts. No different. But what they've done, starting with 2012 and onwards, is in 2009, if you needed a shared chart of accounts or a global chart of accounts, or you had regional organizations that used maybe different charts, you would have to use virtual company accounts. And there was a little bit of a developer techno-functional type experience where you would need to create a virtual company and then share those tables, go into the AOT and pick individual tables that are related and then share them in that way. And you needed to be sure about all the table relationships whenever you were doing those kind of sharings. But in 2012 and beyond, it is purely configurational. It is a functional task, so to speak. You can define as many charts of accounts as you need for your organization. You can have one global chart, which might be the way you have it now, or you could have different charts for different groups of organization. This chart that I opened up, I opened this up because I clicked on the specific one that was assigned to the ledger for this company, the USMF company that I was logged on to. If I take a different view, I'm going to duplicate this and take a different view of my system and show you all the different accounts that exist, so or charts that exist. So you can see here that we have different charts of accounts. In this particular environment, what we have with the Contuso data is all the U.S. companies share one chart and then a certain number of companies in maybe specific countries like Mexico and Russia and India who have statutory or regulatory chart of accounts will have their own chart of accounts. And you can see here the companies in this environment that are utilizing this chart. You can see if I come over to the shared chart of account, that is the most widely used chart. And you can see that we've got several companies here using this, the British companies, the American companies, the consultant companies, the manufacturing companies, the Italian company are all using the same chart of account. So I only need to create it once, just create it here, and it is now available in each one of those companies. If I go to USSI, for example, if I click on this company and I navigate to the USSI company, you will see that it is using the same shared chart of account. So that's the chart of accounts. The main accounts function the same way. A couple of things that are different about the main accounts in the chart of accounts is that you do have a few additional enhancements that they've added. You've got a legal entity override, which can be important in certain cases if you've got a shared chart of account. You may have accounts that maybe the Italian company has this three accounts that they have to have to support the regulatory or statutory and no other company in the system uses those set of accounts. So you have the ability to set up an override where you say, you know what, in this company, for example, this account can be suspended only for this company or for as many companies as you want to suspend an account. Suspend just means that account is not available for use in this particular company. And for other companies that have the same chart of accounts, that account would be made available. You do have the name translations feature that has always existed in AX, so you can add translations for different text so that people can see the language in the text that they have. Another way that you could approach it as well is to use the consolidation account or consolidation account group feature, which would allow you to set up, so if I were to come back here, I'll do that here. I'll have consolidation account groups set up a little bit further down. So you can set up consolidation account groups, and this is probably maybe a little bit more useful though if you have the same account being used by more than one company, but you want a different name. So 
once you set up the groups, then you can now set up the additional consolidation accounts and you can come here, for example, and you can change this and you can see that the German accounts, they can have the same account number, but the name is different. So this would be another way you could do it too as well. The consolidation account groups that I just showed you earlier, so you would set up a different group. Right now we've got German and we've got, this is Mexican, so you could have another one and call it French. You could use the same chart of accounts in national. So now I can now come here and I can add the drop down here and the account number doesn't even have to follow depending on what you're trying to accomplish. I just added the French one, so we've got French here. In this case, you can have multiple consolidation account groups and then map the accounts to different groups and then when you get to do your consolidations you can now call out hey I want to consolidate just for this group and filter just for this and then it will use that particular account so technically I could call this whatever I wanted to call it. This would be the same account on the French side, on the German side, on the Portuguese side as we continue to add them. So we've looked at the legal entity options. We did talk about the fact that the chart of accounts, even though we've talked about it being shared or global, the truth of the matter is you could do it globally across your enterprise, or as I had earlier pointed out, you could have a subsection of companies that share one chart and maybe another set of companies or a company could have its own individual chart. So you have the flexibility to go all individually or corporately. AX would support that. We looked at the legal entity options that allowed you, if you have a shared chart, you can put all the accounts. Say you have 100 accounts, five of those are in your chart just because we require them for the Italian company, for example. So you don't have to set up a separate chart of accounts. You can just keep them all in one chart and just make those five that are Italian specific, make them not available in all the other companies except for the Italian company. So users will not be able to make entries. They'll not be able to do anything in that case. 